Hello and welcome to Droix. Today we are checking out the new AMD processor models of One X Player. We will be unboxing them and checking out the features. Then we will run some system and gaming benchmarks to see their performance and compare them to other handouts. Let's get started with the unboxing. Up first is the One X Player AMD, which we will show in more detail shortly. There's a user manual, which is in Chinese and English. Inside the box is a charger, and we will include the correct adapter for your country. And finally, there's a USB Type-C charge cable. The One X Player AMD model is essentially the same as the Intel model. It measures 11.3 by 5.1 by 0.8 inches and weighs 820 grams. The display is an full fit IPS screen with a default resolution of 2560 by 1600. It supports 10 point touch and also supports the One Netbook stylus which is available to buy separately. On the left side is a back button, clickable left analog stick, classic D-pad, desktop button and left speaker. On the right is the start button for gaming buttons and the clickable right analog stick. Below are two buttons, the first is the keyboard and mouse button which when pressed shows as a on-screen keyboard, when held down it switches to mouse mode and vice versa. Below that is a turbo button. This increases the TDP to provide more performance. On the top, on either side, there's a touch click shoulder and linear analog trigger buttons. In the middle area are a 3.5mm headphone jack, two USB Type-C ports, a USB 3 port and a micro SD card slot. Both models feature the AMD Ryzen 7 series processor. The 4800U has 8 cores and 16 threads running up to 4.2GHz. The 5700U has the same amount of cores and threads but runs slightly faster at 4.3GHz. Both have the AMD Ryzen graphics running at 1750MHz and 1900MHz respectively. You can find 16 gigs of LPDDR4 RAM and one terabyte of PCIe NVMe SSD. Battery is 15,300 milliamp hours. In our tests, we got just over two hours on full load and around seven and a half hours sitting idle on the desktop for both models at the default TDP. For fan noise, we measured around 57 decibels whilst under full load. This does include some office background noise. In our original video, there was an issue with the 4800U sample model in particular. It was reporting it was running at 20 watts TDP, but it did look like it was running in the area of 12 watts. This gave inaccurate benchmark results, which is why we have retested both models and confirmed they are running at 20 watts. We are not sure what caused this issue, but we will be checking the retail versions once they are available. We start our system benchmarks with Passmark. It stress tests the CPU, GPU, RAM and storage to the maximum for an artificial performance score. The One X Player AMD 4800G model scores 4,990. The One X Player AMD 5700U model scores 4,980. Next is PC Mark, which tests your day-to-day -day tasks. These include everything from web browsing, media consumption, working with large office documents, and image editing. The 4800U model scores 5,249. The 5700U model scores 5,183. 3D Mark tests the CPU and GPU together for its graphics performance, which can be used for video editing, media consumption, and of course gaming. The AMD 4800U model scores 1,323. 
The AMD 5700U model scores 1367. We start the gaming benchmarks with Forza Horizon 4 running at 1280x720 with ultra graphic settings. The 4800U model scores a decent 44 frames per second. The 5700U model scores a higher 45 frames per second. In our Street Fighter 5 benchmark we are testing the average FPS by the end of the first match. We are running at 1920x1080 on the maximum graphic settings. The AMD 4800U model scores 30.2 FPS on average and the AMD 5700U model scores 31.2 FPS on average. You can see the difference in performance as the 5700U nudges just ahead of the 4800 despite running at the same time. In our Final Fantasy XIV benchmark, we are running at 1920x1080 on the high desktop graphics setting. The One X Player AMD 4800G model scores 3188. The One X Player AMD 5700U model scores 3261. Our last benchmark is Shadow of the Tomb Raider, running at 1280x720. We run two tests, one on the lowest graphics and a second on the highest to see the difference in performance. The AMD 4800U model scores 56 FPS on lowest and 28 on highest. The AMD 5700U model scores 57 on the lowest and 29 on the highest. Let's first compare the two One X Player AMD models benchmark results to see the difference in performance. For system performance there is very little difference between the two with 0.2 and 1.2%. There's a slightly larger difference in 2D and 3D performance ranging from 1.2% up to 35 Putting both models side by side you would barely notice a difference, uh, you can see this with Street Fighter V. Next we take a look at the benchmark results compared to the One X Player 1S which was our fastest i7 handheld and the Ioneo Pro which is our fastest AMD handheld. As you can see the One X Player 1S and Ioneo Pro share the lead in terms of performance. Both One X Player AMD models are behind in every benchmark test. In our original video we had a much larger gap and now the issue is resolved the gap is closer but in some cases still a fair bit behind. This could be due to a number of things such as memory speed and the design of the hardware. You could also take into account slightly newer versions of the AMD graphics drivers and system benchmark software for example. We are not trying to make excuses and we want to be fully transparent. You can run benchmarks several times in a row and get different results for better or worse. But either way the One X Player AMD models when run at 20 watts in our tests fall behind other models. That wraps up this video for the One X Player AMD model. We hope you have found it useful. Please subscribe if you have not already as it helps to grow the channel. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you back in our next video.